Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be integrating a Synology NAS into Home Assistant. This brings a wealth of information into Home Assistant that, that you can use for analytics or alarms. This is going to be one of a series of videos in relation to the Synology NAS. So if you're interested in the topic, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos. So let's connect to port 5000 and see what information we can bring across. Now I would recommend that you add a user specifically for Home Assistant to use on your Synology NAS for security purposes. To do this, open a new tab and navigate to your Synology NAS, making sure that you log in with an administrator logon. Press the four symbols in the top left hand corner. Search for and select control panel. Now search for user and groups and select. We're going to create an account specifically for Home Assistant to use. I'll be using home underscore assistant in lowercase. Press the create button in the top left hand corner. Enter a username that you can log into the account with. Enter a password, confirm the password, and make sure you tick disallow the user from changing the account password. Now press next. Make sure that you tick for the administrator group and press next. The account will not need any shared folder permissions. Press next. For the user quota, press next. We'll not need any application permissions. Press next. Optionally set user limits, but these are not required. Press next. Review the summary settings and press done. You can now close the control panel. Move over to Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner. Search for Synology and select. Three options will be shown for Synology DSM, Synology Chat, and Synology SRM. Synology Chat is the proprietary communication protocol inside of Synology. Synology SRM is Synology Router Manager. Will not require this one. Synology DSM is for their NAS. Select. Enter your host IP address of your Synology NAS. Enter the username that you just created inside of your Synology NAS. Enter the password. Enter port 5000 unless you have reset this inside of your Synology NAS and make sure to untick uses an SSL certificate. Now press submit. Home Assistant will bring back a success message along with the devices for the NAS itself, plus each of the drives. In my case, there are five of these on this environment and one additional device for the single volume. Optionally give the devices an area and press finish. Now let's quickly look at what entities are available to report against. Select the device's hyperlink. Now select disk one. The entities that are shown for each disk are the safe indicator for the lifespan of the drive, bad sectors and an overall status of the drive plus a temperature for the drive. Now for ease of coding of the dashboard, let's rename the DS1019 plus to a shorter, more generic name so that it can be reused in the dashboard code. Select the pencil in the top right hand corner. Enter a name of NAS underscore D1 for disk one. Press update. When asked if you wish to rename the entities, press rename. Now repeat this for all the drives. Now let's navigate to the main NAS device. Here you can see such entities as the CPU and memory details, along with throughput, both uploads and downloads. Now let's perform the same renaming action and rename this to NAS and finally select the NAS volume one. This will show you use capacity in terabytes as a percentage plus the overall status of the health of the drive. Rename this device to NAS underscore volume one. When finished, all of your renaming should look like mine on screen. Now we are ready to create our dashboard. Now, as long as you have renamed the Synology devices to match mine, then this should be a copy and paste exercise. Navigate to a dashboard where you would like to create your Synology dashboard. For demonstration purposes, I'll create it in a new dashboard. Press the pencil icon in the top right hand corner to edit the dashboard. Press the plus icon for a new card. Search for and select manual. Now open a new tab and navigate to the link in the description for the Synology integration dashboard. Highlight and copy the code. Switch back to Home Assistant. Over paste the existing code and press paste. Now press save. Now press done. This code is configured for a five bay NAS. So you might need to adjust the code for the number of drives that you have. Otherwise the dashboard should work perfectly with no other modifications. 
Now, if you'd like a more detailed and graphical representation, then why not watch my video on how to install InfluxDB and Grafana, link in the pop-up above and then install this Grafana dashboard, which I think you'll agree looks amazing. Links in the description. So I hope you managed to get your integration up and running and have full access to your Synology NAS administration information on a dashboard. Are you planning on using the dashboard provided or using Grafana version or even developing your own? As I'm sure we'd all love to see your work. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment, and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you integrate your Synology NAS into Home Assistant, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.